we, we watch this movie where a college student is left, asked, he's asked the question, you can either take a blue collar B and just coast by and finish the class and I never want to see you again. Or you can try, you may fail, but you can try, in which case I'm wel you know, I welcome you to my class. So the movie ends and you don't know what the college student has chosen. And say, that's what this summer is, it's your choice. And then at the end of the summer, we watch another movie where this, this character has changed the game, completely changed the game, and he doesn't even realize it. And his work colleague has to say, you did it, you were successful. And he says, no, I didn't accomplish you know, this goal. You changed everything. And so that's what I get to watch every summer. I get to watch students change their own games. They change their lives. They've made decisions, little decisions every day that add up to uh, a career trajectory that is not the same as when they came in. And I get paid for that. I mean, that's unbelievable. It was kind of one of those things where I knew that I needed research to get where I wanted to go and med school or pharmacy school or whatever, but um, I just needed that door open for me so that I would have that experience to go on and be able to do um, other research opportunities. It was interesting going from class, knowing that um, Dr. Campbell to knowing him in the lab every day. Um, it was definitely intimidating in class, but in lab, just getting to know him personally and knowing that he was there for us beyond class, but wanting us to do well in our futures, looking out for that sort of thing, it was really nice. There's a lot of, um, a lot of failure in science, that's normal, but um, she was not deterred and got some really good results. So in 10 weeks, she went from not knowing what the project was. Well, none of us really knew what the project was. Uh, students helped define it, but um, define the project, start working on it, take, worked as a group, and then took it apart by herself and took it to a nice conclusion. Coming in, I think that Dr. Campbell had a lot more confidence in me than I had in myself. So, you know, he took a chance on me. I was in his class and you know, he saw me do my work there, but being in his lab every day, trusting me to, you know, carry out these experiments, it meant a lot. And as time went by, I was able to realize in myself that, you know, I can do this and, you know, I have the potential to do a lot more with what I know now. My job is really to give them an opportunity um, to let them explore, to let them be creative, to let them make mistakes, um, but be there if they need me but mainly um, be there as little as possible so that they can feel and become independent. Um, that's when I, so I'm doing my best work when I'm doing as little as possible, meaning that they're now going solo. Research has shown that if you want to make a difference in a STEM education, you need really early research experience, and that's, that's a national trend. And so being a part of that, it feels good. It really does feel good. I, I feel like I'm making a difference in some people's lives.